Hello and welcome back to another piano tutorial. Today we will be learning a song called Benny and Majettes. It's a great song to play on piano. Oh, uh, it's it's a bit hard, so we're gonna dumb it down for the most part and make it easy for really anybody to play. So without a further ado, let's get right to it. It sounds a bit like this for the intro. All right, so I don't know, I'm pretty sure you can see like this far away, uh, but if not, just know that I'll be hitting like the octave keys every time I'm down here. So uh, in the beginning you have this chord here, it's a G major seven chord, it's be G's in your left hand and octaves uh, with D, F sharp, and B. And that whole time you're just gonna bounce your left hand from octave to octave. Until you get to this part where you go and basically you're just going that's a bit hard because you got some bouncing going around but it's B D and when you hit the B Basically, the B and the C in your right hand have to correlate with the G and the F. I'll do here G and the F sharp. So, B, C, and the F. So, you're going G, G, uh, excuse me, G, F sharp, and F. Uh, so, where are we? This nice chord here, it's uh, it's an F major seven chord. I'm like 95% sure on that. Anyway, you got F's in your left hand, you got C, E, and A. And you're gonna do the same thing, just bounce until you get to this part. Now, all you're doing, your left hand is going F, G, G sharp, A. Right hand's gonna do the same movement. So in the beginning, uh, it sounds a bit sounds like this again. We're gonna play it slower. Just gonna keep jumping on the G. That's gonna lead you into the verse. Uh, also, that glissando thing that he does, it's just uh, the notes you played for the F major 7 chord, like that. So after that, you get to the verse, and the verse sounds like this. Um, it's not too bad. So you're going, let's see, you ended like this. Uh, you, you can do uh, an A minor 7 chord, but I prefer to do, uh, what is this? It's the A minor chord, so it's an A in your left hand, A, C, and E. You hit that twice, and then go to D flat major chord. We have D's in your left hand and A, D, and F sharp. You go to a G major chord, which is G, B, and D. And yeah, you know, I prefer you can do the same thing in both hands, but you know, G's are G octaves are also optional. This chord here, that's a uh, G. Uh, I think, believe it, it's a G augmented chord. It, it's G sharp B and D. And if you want to throw the F in there too. So G sharp B D F sharp and oh, excuse me B D F and G sharp. 
or you can just go like that. But this is gonna lead you to the A minor chord again. Back to the D chord. We're gonna go to an E minor chord now. So it changes, and instead of going to the G, it's gonna go to the E minor chord. Just E is I, mean, I do G, B, and E for uh, that first inversion. And then that small little segment repeats A minor to the D to the E. And I like to do uh, something like this just for like chromatic involvement to back to the E minor. So we're going to put that uh, slowly in context for you guys. Here we go. To the G, to the G sharp chord. Back to the E. And that repeats. like that. And once you get to the second part of the E chord, of the E minor chord, you're just going to go back up to what you did already, the G, sub, G major 7 chord, and then bounce. Same chords, it's going to be a faster progression. So before it took like, like eight counts, I guess, eight times doing this to get to the, to the F major chord, but you're going to go just four times, two, three, four, and then to the, to the F major seven chord, four times, and then the bub bub bub, Benny and the Jets going to be landing on the C chord with like, I C is in your left hand, C, E, G, maybe a D if you want to, get a flavor, or uh, like, to make it sound better. Uh, once you get to that, that also repeats. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four. But instead of going to the C chord, which you already did, you're gonna go down here. So C chord, you know, E, G, and C with C as your left. That small segment right there. So like I said, you're gonna go, I just wanna show you what, uh, what I was doing, or how it led into something. So, you get a C minor, C major chord, and you're gonna go up. D major chord to the E minor, then to an E minor 7, but with D's in your left hand now. So it would be D, G, B, D, and E. So uh, you're going to go from the E minor chord to a B flat major chord. Just B, B, excuse me, B flat, B flat, D, and F. Back to the, back to the beginning of the song. And once you get to this part, like, the song repeats from literally the beginning of the song all the way up to the part we just learned. And then after you repeat it, he solos in it. solo like him obviously but if you want to solo on top of it um like how the song does well, I recommend just playing 
probably in your left hand, like the root of a note, because it's the same uh, progression that we did earlier, uh, like here, but you're just gonna solo over it um, for basically the entire song. But uh, that's the end of the song, and that's the whole tutorial, so if you like it, uh, don't be afraid to drop a like, and I will see you guys next time.